Rick Tanner with Tanner 3D here. So, what do you do during quarantine? If you're anything like me, you let your hair grow long and shaggy, you grow a beard, you try to learn a few things. So today, I'm going to show you guys how to use Daz Studio, which can be downloaded for free at daz3d.com, and a little add-on they have for it called Face Transfer. Face Transfer is not free, but it's reasonably priced. Um, I think a couple days after I downloaded Daz Studio, they sent me a coupon code and allowed me to buy it for 20 bucks. So, you go to the Face Transfer tab, you choose your image, which I've already done. You choose which gender of character you want to generate. We want to do a male because we're going to use a picture of Chris Hemsworth. I chose this picture because it's well lit evenly on both sides of his face. It's a straight on shot and it's fairly high res, which will give us a better quality of uh, result. We'll click generate. After just a few seconds, Daz Studio will generate a 3D character using the photo that you chose for face transfer to create the head. We can see here it was successful and it looks reasonably good especially considering it came off of one photo. Now we all know Chris Hemsworth is a little buffer than this character so that's easy enough to fix as well. In the shaping tab on Daz Studio they've got all these morphs here. We're going to choose the bodybuilder morph because well He's the god of thunder. He's he's beefier than this. So we're going to bring up the bodybuilder tab a little bit. And that's good enough. We are going to now export it as an OBJ. We're going to name that OBJ Chris Hemsworth. It's prompting me that because I've already done this once. I'm going to say yes. Okay, so make sure you write your surfaces in your material library. We'll click accept. It'll export. We'll go over to Blender. Delete the default cube. File. Import. Wavefront OBJ. We'll go to the desktop where I saved it. We'll choose Chris Hemsworth and we'll import. Takes Blender a few seconds. It brings it in. He's laying down on the job, so we're going to rotate him 90 degrees and stand him up. And move around in the viewport here. We'll click on the look dev view so that it brings in our materials. And now, as you can see, you have a 3D model of Chris Hemsworth in Blender that you can rig to use for animation or games, whatever your needs are in Blender. But that easy, you've created a 3D model of, of a character. Whichever one you choose to take a shot of, whether it's yourself or a loved one, or in this case, Chris Hemsworth. So, this whole thing was made possible by my Patreon supporters. I used the money that comes in there, saved up over a few months, because I don't have that many Patreon supporters, to, uh, to purchase face transfer. And like I said, Daz Studio is free. Daz3D.com to download it. I hope you guys have fun with it. Enjoy it. And uh, y'all stay healthy out there. You stay safe. Stay six feet apart. And wash your hands. We'll see you later. Bye.